Bonjour guys, welcome to another French vlog. We moved to the mountains, as you can see, and today we have a very exciting day ahead with so many places we want to visit. So without further ado, let's get into another French vlog. Let's get to another day in this beauty and let's explore the French Alps together. The first stop of the day is of course for morning coffee because I've been anticipating the taste of my coffee for about half an hour now and I just need it. And some flan because what coffee is it without some dessert? We got to the first point today that is called Jardin Secret. The secret garden, uh, the story behind this place is absolutely amazing because there was a family who bought this land semi-abandoned with a crumbling house in 1980 and then they started renovating it and uh, they started gardening and the garden turned into a marvelous place. It was kept secret until 1994 when the family opened it to the public and ever since people can come here and enjoy the beauty of these gardens that are absolutely spectacular. And indeed, I understand why they were kept secret, but I'm so glad that we can visit them today. Everything here looks as if it was an oriental palace and I like it so much because this is something that you don't see normally in any other, you know, houses or palaces across Europe and I love the uniqueness of this place. Okay guys, so we come to the next point of today, Gorge de Fier, which is a wonderful canyon gorge uh, that was first opened to public in 1869 and ever since people have been coming here to admire the beauty and the impressiveness of this place. I'm so excited to see what it's all about, so let's go! The gorge was absolutely gorgeous, honestly, it was spectacular. The view from there and just walking in between those cliffs was really fascinating. Definitely worth a visit and uh, keep in mind that the gorge is closed during winter. It's open from April to October and for a very reasonable price. One ticket cost us about five euros, six euros, so uh, it's not expensive at all compared to other entry tickets in France. Ready for the next stop today, guys! Wow, guys, look at the view! Well, it was worth a hike, even though I'm breathless now, but look at this view, how cool! Is it? Look at the mountains over there. Wow. Ah, it's fabulous.
imagine all the ladies in the medieval times sitting like this by the window, waiting for their loved one to come, like, Francois, Francois, but there's no Francois today. There is an ancient and sad legend surrounding the castle and the gorge that we visited earlier. It is said that once upon a time a Count of Montrotier had a beautiful wife called Diane, but there was no love between the two. Diane loved to take long strolls near the gorge, accompanied by her loyal page who was secretly in love with her. One day they met a handsome knight, Count of Pontver, her husband's rival. They fell in love, and the heartbroken page reported the affair to Diane's husband. Furious, he set a trap for the two lovers. When Count of Pontver was discovered, he ran away but tripped and fell down the gorge to meet his death, while Diane spent the rest of her life locked up in a tower. Locals say that on summer nights you can still hear the wailing sounds near the gorge or around the castle. The rain has finally stopped, so I think it's time to go somewhere and explore the area and just enjoy some time here, maybe visit an artisanal shop, hopefully a patisserie or boulangerie, so we'll see where today will get us. One of the highlights of today, guys, is coming to see the suspension bridge that is so near the place where we are staying. I love suspension bridges. It will be my second or third time on a suspension bridge and I'm so excited! This, guys, is the real France, the real French countryside and the epitome of the slow living. And honestly, you really want to slow down here. You don't want to rush. You want to stay present and to savor every moment. Now guys, we're all picnic ready. We just have to find a picturesque spot for picnic, which is definitely not a problem with these views around. What I really like about the French uh, desserts and French pastries is that the dough is quite thin and then they are filled with cream to the fullest. We have just arrived to the medieval town of Conflan that is also an artsy town, an artistic place where artists gather to create and where the whole town has been preserved integrally since the medieval times. And I'm very excited to discover it and to see it. 
and hopefully to find more artisanal places with more artisanal local goods. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. Like, comment and share this video with your friends. And if you want to help me support this channel, please hit the thank you button down below near the like button. Thank you guys for being here. Enjoy your day and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye.